how many times can I take my freaking camera? And I don't really know. I, I really don't know. I don't know what else I can say. How many times can I say I don't know? I don't know. Let's get to the tag. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming the drum roll, please. Do I have that book challenge? I originally saw this on Haley and Bookland's channel. She recently posted this and then Books and Lala posted a little bit ago. And the original tag video was created by Keeping Tabs and I'll tag her in my description. But pretty much I have to answer 20 questions and I'm supposed to like be timing it but I guess like I'll keep a timer somewhere but um, I'm probably not going to really race around. As you can see, um, my book setup is very different. I have a shelf, a cart, and then I have two bookshelves on either side of my window so I can't show you my whole collection when I'm pulling it out but I will try as much as I can. Hopefully there's not a whole lot of butt in this video, but there probably will be. Let's get started. Hopefully I win because I don't like losing. Let's get to the tag. Question number one is do I have a book with deckled edges? And I do and it's right in front of me in my TBR cart and I'm going to pull it out. So that is the Gilded Wolves deckled edges which are pages that are pretty much just uneven and no I have not read this yet but I do own one. Question number two is do you have a book with more than three people or three people on the cover? The fact that my memory is so bad is like, I really don't even, I gotta search. Okay, my book with more than three people or three people on it is The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. There's a million people in it and let's keep going because I'm gonna lose this tag. Question number three is do you have a book based on a different fictional story and meaning like a retelling? And I do and it's right in front of me. This TBR card is wonderful. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer, and it is based around the Beauty and the Beast story. Question number four is, do you have a book with ten letters in the title? And I'm pretty sure it means exactly ten. So, um, let's see. I do have one with exactly 10 letters in the title, and it is P.S. I Like You by Casey West. Question number five is, do I have a book that starts and ends with the same letter? Why do books not start and end with the same freaking letter? I don't understand. Yes, okay. Enchant by Gita or Gita Trelis. This starts and ends with the letter E. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Number six is, do you have a mass paperback book? And I do 100%, so I'm going to grab it, even though they're literally ugly. Okay, so I have more than just this one, but this one was on the floor. It is The Planet of the Apes by Pierre Bull. I don't know. I hate them, and I'm honestly trying to get rid of all my mass paperbacks because they just look really ugly on my shelves. Question number seven is, do you have a book by an author that uses a pen name? I definitely do. But like the thing is, the point of having a pen name is so people don't know who you are or like whatever. So let's see. I have one by Anonymous, so I'm going to say that that counts. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm on my chair. I don't know if this counts. It's called I Wrote This For You. Please find, it's like by Please Find This. So I'm going to count that. I don't know if that counts or not. If that doesn't count, I do own all the Harry Potter books. Um, I'm pretty sure J.K. Rowling is a pen name, if I can remember correctly. So if that other one doesn't count. Question number eight is, do I have a book with the character's name in the title? And I think, yes, 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 yes. I do. And it's right behind me and it's easy. Amy and Rogers Epic Tour by Morgan Madison. Number nine is, do I have a book that has two maps in, in it? So I'm going to search for one. But like, honestly, why do books have two maps? Like a legit question. Like... Why does Gilded Wolves not have a map? Does it not need one? I haven't read it, so someone tell me. Almost positive that I definitely have one. But like, am I really going to pull them all out to look at them? No. Alright, so I'm going to take the L on that question. If you guys do know like a book that has two maps, I am really curious to know if I actually do own one, so let me know. Question number 10 is, do you own a book that was turned into a TV show? And I do. 
Here you go. Now she's on there. Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Please watch this because so freaking good. This book is literally so good. I can't even. Question number 11 is do I have a book written by someone that was originally famous for something else? Meaning a celebrity, a sports star, anything like that, a musician. And I honestly don't know. Let me just give me a second to look. But I really really... I don't... This is another one that y'all are going to be like having to tell me because I really don't know. Alright, yeah. I'm going to take the L because I don't really think so. I know like YouTuber books I don't read. Um, like celebrity books like Amy Poehler and like that I don't read. But I kind of want to read... Um, I forget her name, the mom from Gilmore Girls. I want to read her book. So if you guys read that, let me know, because I, I feel like I heard that it's funny. And, like, I like to laugh, so. And I love Gilmore Girls. Question number 12 is, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? And, like, it's just so hard to look. Can I cheat? And, like, I really don't. I definitely don't. So I'm losing. Number 13 is, do you have a poetry book? I do, so let me get it. Alright, so the one that I'm going to show you is this one by Amanda Lovelace. It's The Prince That Saves Herself in this one. And I know a lot of people love this trilogy. I have not read the other two, and I don't know why I picked it up a million times and just put it back for like, an, like a novel. So, I need to get it. I was going to show you guys my favorite poetry book, but it's like the first book against my wall, and like taking it out would be a hassle. So, that is Love Her Wild by Atticus, and please, literally, please read that. Yeah. Question number 14 is, do I have a book with an award stamp on it? And I definitely do, so let me get it. My, like, little it clown fell off my shelf. How cool it is. My book with an award stamp on it is, I have not read it. It has two National Book Award finalists and Michael L. Prince Award for Excellence in Young Adult Literature. And it is the book Monster. I don't know why my brother read this one. Oh, this looks fun. I'm legit about to put this on my TBR. Look how cool this book looks. Like, I literally love stuff like that. And I think my brother really liked it. So I'm going to pop this in my TBR cart, honestly. 15. Do I own a book by an author with the same initials as mine? And I want to say no. But I'm going to look anyway. Um, my initials are KS. So I don't have anyone else with... I don't have anybody... I don't have any author with KS as their initials. I have KM, KT, KW, literally K everything but KS. Um, so if you do have a KS that you've read before, please let me know because that's my twin. And I should be reading their stuff. So comment below if you know a KS author. I mean, I know I can search it up real quick, but I want your recommendations or whatever. <laughs> Question number 16 is, do I have a book of short stories? And I do. Alright, so the book that I picked for this, Books and Lala, is who influenced me to buy this novel that I have not read yet. So it's Slasher Girls and Monster Boys, and it is by... Okay, yeah, there are a bunch of stories. Oh my god! Who didn't tell me that Lee Bardugo literally wrote a story in this novel? Okay, so like people I know is Jay Kristoff, Lee Bardugo, and Mary Lou. But there's other people too, so maybe I should pick this up soon. Question number 17 is, do you have a book between exactly 500 to 510 pages long? Let me check it out. No. No. My book's literally... You gotta be flipping kidding me right now. Come on, don't say I'm mean, yeah, Who knew that this Harry Potter book was almost 700 pages? Because I definitely didn't. Yeah, she's not. I don't have anything. Um, everything's either under 500 or well over 510. So, cool. Number 18 is you have a book that was turned into a movie. And yes, I do. And I'm going to actually <laughs> do some promo, even though it's not sponsored, um, for this, this great movie. So, this is five feet apart. This book is literally so, so good. The movie was so, so, so good. And when the movie comes out, 
I was thinking about doing a book to movie comparison, so let me know if you'd be interested in that, but honestly, the movie was just as good as the book, like, truthfully. I went and saw it in, um, shed a few tears, so. Also, the rep in this book, like, the main characters have cystic fibrosis, and, like, you know, we're kind of used to seeing all these abled people in novels and getting to know about something that is happening in the world. This was like, I don't know, it was very touching to me to be able to learn about it. And then when I finished it, I didn't want it to be over. So I literally started looking at people like on YouTube with CF and like researching it. So like I got really into the topic and just the rep when I think everybody needs to read this novel. Next question, number 19. Do you have a graphic novel? I do. Let me hit it. The only graphic novel that I really have besides like manga is this one and it's Mouse by Art Spiegelman. I have talked about this in my vlog and in my wrap up but this story was very important because it's all about the Holocaust and about the relationship between a father and a son as the son is recounting the father's relationship with the Holocaust and how he went through it and everything and it's really interesting because it's actually a true story and I watched an interview about Art Spiegelman and just speaking about his inspiration for the novel and whatnot and I read it for school so like go school for once. Alright so we're on my last question and I absolutely failed this so like I'm not even gonna put a timer up or anything because I wasn't timing myself but I know that the last clip was over 20 minutes so it definitely was not 8 minutes which is the time to be so I definitely failed but the last question Question number 20 is, do you own a book written by two or more authors? And I do, of course. So, let me just pick one because I have a few, like, duh. Alright, so the one that I'm going to pick is Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kristen Miller. The reason that I'm picking this is, this honestly is very underrated to me. Like, the Goodreads rating is not even good, like, barely at all. So, I think it's really interesting because I really enjoyed this. I gave it four stars and... I don't know, kind of kept me on my toes, so if you guys haven't read this, I kind of suggest that you do. It's really interesting. Alright. Okay, honestly, like, what am I known for? Clapping a million times and throwing a peace sign in. <sighs> well, as you can see, I obviously failed that challenge. So, um, thank you for watching anyway, because we love to see people fail, don't we? If you want to do this video, I tag you to do it. I think it's really interesting to kind of see what you got on your shelves or whatever. Actually, I'm going to do some self-promo. So, me and my boyfriend just started a couple channel. I will link our channel in my description, but go check it out because, like, we're cute. So, if you watched my last video, which I really hope you did, and you liked it, then I suggest subscribing to our channel for some more of that stuff, you know, more of that content or whatever. <laughs> that's me cringing at myself so now I'm done because I'm over myself like and subscribe I post three times a week sometimes <laughs> thanks for watching